Hey everybody, welcome to Wake Up Well today, Thursday the 5th of November. Today we're going to go through a couple of bits of scripture about temptation and um, some tips and maybe thoughts around how we can work through some of those things. So let's dive straight into the Bible. Matthew 26, 41, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Straight away we've got the answer there, haven't we? Watch and pray. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak and there's an awareness in that in uh, what the spirit wants to do calling out to be in relationship with the father and the weakness that we have as in our in our humanity and then the other bit of scripture to look at is the end of the lord's prayer which is lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one wow it's a real cry out i think at the end of that that prayer that's the way i often see it and um you know, temptation is something that we all face in a multitude of different ways and in our own context, whatever that might look like. And I'm just going to share now a couple of things in terms of which might be useful, I hope, and things for you to consider what's applicable in, in your scenario. I think in one of the massive blessings that's been, I think, to us in this season has been the Holy Habits series we did over the summer, which is still relevant now. And I think for each of the Holy Habits, we can unpack for weeks on end. But there's things in there, nuggets, which I think are really helpful, particularly in terms of uh, temptation. So firstly, community. From community, uh, we have accountability. We have a relationship with other people that are journeying with Jesus. And having those conversations with people and working through what's going on in our lives um, is just is a great and healthy thing. So highly recommend checking out community if you're not in one and finding out um, and going deeper if you are and prayer said it in um, in the first bit of scripture we looked at actually coming and praying and chatting to Jesus about stuff let's do that in the temptations that we face fasting something which I personally find really hard to do but the times when I've done it I've seen great things um, chocolate is a light-hearted thing that I uh, is definitely my weakness it's my go-to kind of comfort food and um, I found that if I reduce a little bit, um, actually, you know, it doesn't really, nothing really happens. But actually, when I completely cut it off, when I take a year off my favorite snack, um, actually, it's been a really healthy thing. And um, it might be that in your life, there's something which you're trying to just reduce a little bit where actually you need to completely cut it off. You'll know what that is. You can um, talk to the father about that. But um, yeah. We can try and do things in our own strength, but we've got to be aware of uh, that warning in the scripture that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Uh, other holy habits, generosity. Um, again, I found in face of particularly kind of relational things where there's been a temptation to step out and I guess not um, walk in kindness sometimes, actually generosity and turning it around and trying to see people as Jesus sees them is really important. And I've always found great fruit when we step into a generous spirit. So we're about to step into a new lockdown, I think, today, aren't we? So that's a bit a bit crazy. Um, and amongst that, there might be things which have come up for you again, temptations, things that have come up in the way. And for me, I know that when I get hangry, things totally go wrong. So um, getting good food, good rest, and a bit of exercise are really just constructive, easy things to do. And in all those things, we can invite God into it. So we give thanks for our food. We invite Holy Spirit to come and speak to us in our dreams and in our sleep. That's just an awesome thing to do and do all the time. And when we go out for a walk or a run or a bike ride or whatever it is, it doesn't have to be much, but just getting out and doing that really healthy for us and actually inviting Jesus on those walks. So let's, see, let's see what revelations happen when you're out and about actually doing that. I think when we actually go through the, for those things, you know, relationally speaking, it's the more time we spend in relationship with people, the more we know them, the more we get to learn from them, and the more they brush off on us, the more our friends and family brush off us, on us. So, like, that's the analogy I always love to think about and a reminder to myself about trying to be more like Jesus, walking in relationship with him, let him brush off on you. Spend time with him in the everyday, invite him into every little nugget, everything that's going on, and uh, just let him work through you. And yeah, pray through things. We know that when we come to him, he will be there for us. So time and time again, let's do that. So bless your day, bless your week ahead, bless this season ahead. Let there be a bit, let there be a season for you where there's great fruit that comes from this time and you have a heavenly perspective over the earthly things that we're facing in this season. Bless your day this day. I hope you've woken up well.